When I feel pain, when you feel pain, I feel pain. I hold you dear to my heart. And in this house, as long as we're both here, I will do anything for you. Hey! And that is the truth. Hey! Not just for you, for your family, and most especially for your grandma. What? I don't want to be a player no more. Day. Oh my god guys, I have been having so much fun with the titans this morning um, Especially the gentlemen of Big Brother's house. Those guys are amazing. They are simply amazing as a matter of fact Hey, hey ladies, if you want to get married, we have one million and one yachts worth of husband materials currently existing on our TV screens So when they come out, make sure you go and grab your coffee, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, happy Valentine's Day to every single one of you. I want to let you all know today that I really appreciate you all. I mean, I think I let you know every day, right? But today, I want to remind you that I appreciate every single one of you. I love you all so much. The love is genuine. Oh my God. Everything, guys. Everything. Everything you do for this channel. Everything you do for my brand. It never goes unnoticed. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for being there, for being a part of this community. You guys are the realest. You guys are simply amazing. And so I want to wish you all specially um, a beautiful, a blissful, uh, and a happy and a joyful um, Valentine's Day. Listen, don't allow yourself for one minute to be sad. If you don't receive gifts from anybody, go get yourself something, all right? Because you're special. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lori Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Lori, and I am the girl with the tea. Now, this video is a special video, okay? Because first, it is Valentine's Day, and second, um, the male housemates decided to do something really special for the female housemates. I gave you guys the, the details of their plans on one of my videos yesterday, and today, from the early hours of this morning, uh, precisely after they finished their workout session, the guys started putting together all their plans for the females and oh my god it's been blissful ever since then till now that you are seeing this video so please make sure you watch to the end as i give you guys the juiciest of the juiciest details you know of um, what their morning breaky with the ladies have been all right and um, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do not hesitate go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen and trust me you'll be glad you're part of this family and also lastly remember tomorrow is wednesday by 7 p.m w18 we're going to be converging here for our youtube live stream so please make sure you come through all right i will be reserving a special spot for you all right anyways quickly let's proceed into the details of this valentine's day edition with the titans Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's appropriate that we give out some accolades to the gentlemen of Big Brother's house. These guys, they really have did themselves this morning. They really went all out, everybody together with joint efforts, you know, and of course, looking partially amazing in their partial birthday suits. When I say birthday suits, I mean uh, bare-chested, looking all manly. Arr, I feel like grabbing something, yeah? I mean, they all put in the work, put in the effort into preparing a sumptuous breakfast for the ladies this morning and guys wow i mean they really did great it was their own way of appreciating the women of the house you know thanking them for having taken care of them for the past four weeks now you know preparing foods for them just basically babying them in the house so today they tagged it the yes day for the ladies the soft life day for the ladies they told the ladies that anything they wanted today all they needed to do was to ask even if it meant them you know going to the bathroom to take a pee mm -hmm, all they needed to do was to just signal one of the guys and they will be carried like a princess to the bathroom and guys that's what these gentlemen have been doing today now mind you there were two parts to this plan remember the first one was for um, them to write a note and read it out to their partners that's the guys and to also prepare the breakfast for all the ladies and so the breakfast part was over and done with and oh my god i really loved the way the guys introduced the ladies the ladies understood the assignment they were looking 
looking regal in their red and their and their black ensembles they were looking amazing red lipsticks here and there they were all looking amazing yes and the guys had to blindfold them before leading them to the dining because they wanted it to be a general surprise and oh my god the reaction of the ladies was simply amazing the ladies were genuinely surprised they did not see it coming they actually suspected that the guys were up to something but they were not really sure what it was exactly and when the big review happened oh my god i found myself you know grinning from ear to ear so it was such an amazing moment so the ladies were still eating when taban yes our new head of house pretended that he had received a brief from big brother and so he had read out some words in big brother's words and um, then he had started reading his own note to his partner guys of all the guys that read their notes to their partners, there were a few that I feel are worthy of mentioning and also kind of caused a bit of a stare amongst the housemates. So I'm just going to start with a Marvin speech to Yaya. Getting to know you, I have come to my own understanding of your love for Pink. Pink is beautiful, just like you. It's very unique, different from the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, I found myself shedding tears when Marvin was reading his notes to Yaya. You could tell that it was genuine. You could tell that Marvin actually loves Yaya. Guys, that is what I, I observed. You could tell that Marvin loves Yaya. You could tell that he has a soft spot for her. But the game, the house, I don't know if Yaya is even a speck. But guys, the details in Marvin's words, the way he coined his words together, the way he read it out. Even he himself got really emotional as he was reading words to Yaya. Even talking about, oh, he's here for Yaya. He's here to support her female empowerment program, you know, in and outside the house. Oh my God. Marvin was literally making a commitment to Yaya and I was literally tearing up. Yaya was crying. I myself was also crying because guys, I'm sorry, I'm not a shipper, but you see those two people, I'm literally gunning for them. I'm cheering them on that they should be an item because these two people, they totally get each other. The chemistry between them is fire. But anyways, guys, we're going to pause there on Marvin and Yaya. I'm quickly moving on to Juicy J. Only on there's <laughs> no part and there's no piece of hate that I'll ever have for you. I'm not sure with the times, but just know that in my heart I'll always love you. Now, Jesse J's um, message to Olivia, it wasn't a note, he didn't read it from anywhere, he just had it off his heart. It was so heartwarming and I was so happy because last night they had had a serious quarrel because of the whole nomination thing, the Vito Power Save and Replace, and because of Nana, and Olivia had been really upset with Juicy J. And so today, oh my God, Juicy J's words were words of reconciliation, words of respect, words of adoration, words of regard, and oh my God, they kind of made up, and they hugged each other. It was so sweet to see. And then the next person's uh, message that really got to me was Yemi's message to Nelisa, guys, Besides all the attraction and all in the house, I just could tell that Yemi genuinely loves and respects Yelisa as his partner. You see that message? Oh my God. Yelisa for life. Let's make history together as the MVPs that all the MVPs want to be like. Mm -hmm. Your name is Yelisa, but together we are Yelisa. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine. Thank you. So it was simply beautiful. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I celebrated both of them. And you know, he called um, Nelisa my personal instigator. I mean, he was just hyping her for being small but mighty, for being small but filled with so much wahala. He called her the real um, Zikala Wahala. <laughs> the theme of the season oh my god guys this this beautiful partnership between those two people i totally felt it today and i respected yemi 100 today because i just felt like nah the way yemi carries nelisa he carries her like a younger sister he carries her like oh this girl i'm going to protect you with my life and it was so beautiful to see and then last but not the least miracle miracle decided to choke yemi today like guys literally when i say literally yemi was literally drinking water as if he was a fish on land <laughs> Like he needed water to survive. Miracle decided to scatter everywhere. He was the last speaker, but then guess what? He decided to destroy everywhere, he tried to burn everywhere with his savage message to Kosi. You're a lucky, lucky woman. Mm -hmm. And any man that should ever be with you on a special day like this will mm -hmm. be lucky as well. Mm -hmm. Kosi, or shall I say, my Busoma? <laughs> <laughs> Miracle's message to Kosi sounded like a marriage proposal. No, 
not just a marriage proposal it sounded like um a lifetime proposal this guy was literally telling Kosi that as long as we're in this house i would do anything for you i will protect you just name it as long as we're in this house i'll do anything for your grandmother i will support your dreams i will support everything i said ah miracle are you proposing marriage to this guy what the hell is going on i mean the things he was saying ladies and gentlemen even us the viewers even me that watches this show multiple hours than usual i've never heard most of them before so it means that kosi and miracle they normally have their own intimate conversations where kosi really opens up to miracle as a friend forget all the fights these people have been fighting you know? these two people they know things about each other that even other housemates do not know not to talk about yemi that is kosi's so-called boyfriend in the house and when he was speaking he was looking directly into kosi's eyes and guys for a flip second i could tell that kosi also genuinely likes miracle but because of the game this girl is playing hard guy hard guy she does not want to open up herself to miracle because miracle is such a lover man he's such a lover boy he's going to spoil this girl's this girl's attention and focus in that house with love and if Kaz is not taking she might lose focus on the game and so guys today i just got a eureka moment that wow kosi genuinely likes miracle but she is seriously hardening her heart against opening up to him and Yemi could not stand it. Yet, in fact, the cameraman today was just being very, very petty and savage. He kept on, whilst Miracle was talking, the cameraman kept on switching the camera from um, Yemi's face to Miracle's face to Tabang's face. Like, the three cardinal points. Oh my God, it was so hilarious. Yemi continued to drink water, drink water, drink water. And even the whole house, they were feeling Miracle. And they were like, oh, guys, at some point, it was very obvious that they knew that Miracle was just tearing up some drama. But then he finished up his notes, hugged um, Kosi, and then the next few minutes, he wore on her neck a neck piece that he had created by himself from the task they did last week. That means Miracle has been intentional. He has been preparing his Valentine's gift for Kosi since last week. Oh my God, guys. It was such a beautiful moment. And then, Yami felt challenged. Yami too wanted to give his own speech. Guess what? Few moments later, we saw Yami taking um, Kosi upstairs and then he started confessing his own affections for her. And that was where Yami said, I never thought we would get to this point, but I realized on Sunday that I don't want to lose you. I don't ever want to lose you. You know, with the whole thing that happened on Sunday, I never realized that. I'm not ready to lose you. And um and I, I understand the risk for you too to be with me in the house. I was scared, but I don't want to lose you. I don't want to be a player no more. Hey! The moment I heard that part, my head scattered. I say, eh, Yemi? Yemi said he doesn't want to be what? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Even because he was laughing, there was a point Yemi where I think it was when he said I don't want to be a player no more. Because he fell on the bed, I was laughing. You know that annoying laughter. Yemi was like, why are you laughing? She said, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it just sounds weird. All of these things coming from your mouth. I say, Yemi, ah, you will not kill us, the viewers. I mean, it was like, babe, I'm glad I have you. You make me so happy, blah, blah, blah. And Kosi was laughing. I say, I don't believe you, my love. I say, babe, just tell him. Tell him you don't believe, ladies and gentlemen. Because I just felt like Yemi on a normal day. Mm will not say all those things right i just felt like maybe he was threatened by miracle and then tabang and kosi ladies and gentlemen these three people they've been whispering left right and center i'm gonna to have to do a separate video to tell you all they've been discussing since yesterday these three people are planning something major and yemi is not gonna like it but anyways guys um overall today was beautiful um the guys they gave the ladies um, a strip tease shirt which was amazing it was beautifully put together everything has been fun juicy j and yvonne they are planning to you know dress to, um, dress up together as a couple see i'm just here keeping my fingers crossed because i know that today is going to be a fantastic day but in the meantime please go ahead let me know your thoughts about all this drama that i've pointed out to you all in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day bye